Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. We come to the final Sunday of Ordinary Time, Christ the King. So as we end the church year, the church asks us to pause and recognize Lord Jesus as Lord of the universe, and then to ask us, is he the King of your life? We celebrate Christ the King to wrap up the entire year. So throughout the liturgical year, the church wants to unveil and to reveal to us the many ways that Christ comes to save us. So we hear the different gospel stories, we mark the different celebrations and holy days throughout the year. One week from now, we will begin a brand new liturgical year with the first Sunday of Advent. And on Christ the King, the first reading today is from the prophet Ezekiel. God is speaking and God says, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. And we find that God does that indeed when he comes among us as Jesus Christ, who is our shepherd. So first of all, our king is unusual. Our king does not wield power over us. Our king is like a shepherd who cares for the sheep, wants to lead us into pastures where we can find life. So we have this unusual shepherd king, and we find that this king's throne ends up being a cross. He's crucified on a cross. The power of our unusual king is found in what looks like weakness. Jesus empties himself of his humanity on the cross, and because of that, the Father could raise him up to new glory and resurrected life. So the cross for us is key. We follow our King on his path, and that means that we share in his suffering and his dying so that we might share in his rising. We call that the Paschal Mystery. So this unusual King calls us also to follow a simple command. Love the Lord your God with all you have and love your neighbor as yourself. That means that our unusual king wants us to see him in our neighbor. And especially, he wants us to see him in those who are abandoned, marginalized, left out, the least, the little, the lost. Our unusual king sees himself in them, and so he asks you and I to do the same. So we have a responsibility. So therefore, our Catholic faith is not just following the regulations and the laws, not just observing Sunday Mass, but we are to do as He did. We are to look out and care for those who are least little lost and last. Um, that might be your neighbor next door, and it might be somebody you don't even know yet. And also then, we don't judge them on why maybe they are homeless, or why maybe they suffer addiction, or why maybe they got a certain disease. We don't ask those questions. We simply see Jesus in them, and then try to respond with His incredible mercy. This unusual king cares deeply for us. His mercy and compassion know no bounds. That's great news. But now you and I are called to imitate him with our life.